What's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. We have completed another project. This massive retaining wall. It's 130 lineal feet by four feet height. Of course, we're gonna give you some details about it. Okay, so let's talk about the problem. So our client bought this property about 40 years ago and she already had this massive hill kind of like right next to the house. But over the years, the hill kept moving and moving and getting a little bit closer to the property. And the slope in the upper area kept changing. Now this is normal, over 40 years, the ground, the earth moves, especially since it doesn't have anything at the bottom part, keeping it in place. Now, after thinking about what can we do for our client here, we came back to her with two solutions. One of them was creating a massive 10 feet plus retaining wall in order to flatten the upper area. Now, this is a different scale of project, so it will require engineering planning and a lot more time to plan. Now, second option was this, what you see in here, four feet retaining wall and re-sloping the hill. Obviously, we don't have a completely flat area on the upper section, but the slope is way better and we were able to control the erosion without having to go to create or build that massive retaining wall. So now let's talk about how we build this thing. Even though it's not a 10 feet high retaining wall, it's a four feet, so it still has some pressure behind the wall. And there's so many factors that we have to consider. Number one, it's the footing. Where is this wall sitting? Because a lot of the pressure is on the footing. Our footing, it's 36 inches by eight inches thick, and it's reinforced. So we have a lot of rebar, as you can see in the video. Item number two that it's very important, it's drainage. The drainage gets all the water away from behind the wall. The water can create a lot of pressure coming through the hill and when we take the water away with French drains, it's way less surcharge pressure or lateral pressure. So it's less likely that this wall will fail. And since the wall is 130 lineal feet, our French drain has two exits, one on each side. We have a midpoint and from that point, we have our slope on one side and then slope to the other side. Now let's talk about a little bit more the French drain because this is very important. In this case, we use a four inch perforated pipe so you can take all the water out and then a lot of gravel, a lot of drain rock behind the wall, at least 12 inches. Now to avoid the gravel being contaminated over time with the dirt or the sand, we use filter fabric. As you can see right here on the video, we're separating the dirt and the gravel to keep this drain rack clean all the time. So this type of pipe is the one that you always wanna use. Don't use the black one. It's a lot more affordable, but we do not recommend it. You gotta use this type of pipe. Now, this is not perforated. I didn't have any on site but this is how it looks. And then the holes are somewhere in here at the bottom. Make sure you always put these holes facing down. I've seen some people where they put the holes or they set the holes facing up. They think that the water comes from the upper section and goes into the hole, into the holes. Yes, it comes from the upper section, but then it goes all the way to the bottom of the footing. Then it starts to go up, goes up into the holes, and then in a little channel goes out to where it's supposed to be. And another good key for drainage that is very important, you never, never, ever want to mix a French drain with a solid drain. Now, what is a solid drain? Solid drain, it's a solid pipe that you probably use for downspots to get the water away from the house. Some people, they have a French drain 
and then a solid drain, and then they mix them up. When you do that, you're getting all of the breeze from the gutters into your French drain, and that's gonna make it fail a lot sooner. So it's important to always keep the French drain completely insulated from the gutters, the patios, and some other sources of drainage that you may have. Okay, and what we have accomplished with this four feet retaining wall, it's number one, it's we're stopping the erosion and we're stopping the hill and it's not getting any closer to the house. And we also have re slope this section and flatten the upper section. So it's a lot easier to mow the grass everywhere and she can use more the upper section as well. So to make it short, the whole land is more usable with this simple retaining okay. wall. And another good information that you should know, it's for a crew of three guys, took about four weeks to complete, including excavation, footing, and from top to bottom. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it. As always, please follow and like us on Facebook and Instagram. You can send us your questions through our email, which is info at thirdheavenlandscape.com. Also, you can visit our website, which is thirdheavenlandscape.com. We have a lot of information there, even some about what prices for you. But if you have some special project, please uh, give us a call or a text. Peace.